getting really open and honest and raw with you guys because I feel like it's an important topic something that I hope can help somebody out there okay so I have been celibate for 442 days Damn! <laughs> it's almost like it seems like it's embarrassing but why is it embarrassing what kind of society are we living in <sighs> anyways don't feel sorry for me okay I just want to put it out there that I'm not proclaiming to just be so holy and just like above any anybody else or anything like that. The reason the reason that I'm making this video, I want to share with you like what I've learned, what I've gained from being celibate, why you may want to try this out for yourself and what can happen when you have sex with the wrong person. Just a lot of deep stuff like that. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to this channel if you like talking about spirituality, self-love, just empowerment. Let's get into it. 442 days. <laughs> I did do the math when I was thinking about this video. That comes out to around like a year, two and a half months. That's how long it's been. And you guys, it was one time and prior to that, it had I had been abstaining for six months so you know I've learned a lot throughout this process and to be honest it might be another um, 400 days because I'm single AF so <laughs> you know but it's really cool because I'm to the point now where I don't feel like I need it you know it's not really on my mind like that and I've just changed so much during this time during this journey really just stepped into my power i've tapped in more with the divine more with god more aware of my worth of my value and it's just been really good it's been really healthy for me you can see it like as a fast you know you can see it as like um a break to regain your clarity i'm just really in a place of being at peace and calm in my life and i've made so many other changes i feel like being celibate and abstaining from sex like it's actually forced me to focus on other things in my life other things started to leave my life because I feel like you gain just a better sense of clarity for yourself of like okay where is your life going what do you want to do as far as like what do you want to tolerate the people in your life toxic relationships things like that so I've learned a lot and I just want to share with you guys what can happen for you if you decide to do this if you've been thinking about it and again i don't consider myself religious because i don't follow any particular religion i'm definitely more of a spiritual person and it's not like i was doing this and following certain rules for god like i made this decision within myself and then through that i became closer with god I started to honor purity, you know, in all forms. For example, recognize that I really am a soul in a body. I started to honor my body more and recognize like, wow, the things that we do to our bodies matter. You know, the energy that we allow in our bodies matters. And it's important to take care of your body. You're the only one who can do that. As I've been abstaining, I came to the realization that, okay, I felt weed was hurting me right too so like I stopped smoking weed and really what helped like propel me into this direction I moved away from my hometown I moved out of my home state which is California I left over two years ago and that really helped me because I was in a new place with people that I didn't know and um yeah I've just been on my spiritual journey you guys so it's been I guess a little bit easier to abstain because I haven't been like tempted by anybody that I know from my past I've had to break soul ties it's been important to me and like that's my first tip for you guys is just like to listen to yourself like if you're on this video you're you might have an inkling that okay maybe you should be doing something similar to this and um listen to that because you really have nothing to lose you know, um, sex is not everything, but it's in our face everywhere. You know, it's in all of the music. It's all over the TV. Have you guys seen that that ad all over YouTube? And I guess it might be a commercial. It's like Seat, seat Geek and it's like the butt moving back and forth. Like, it's so gross. And it's on the kids' channels. Like, it's everywhere. Like, sex is in our face 
24 7 it's to the point in the society where people have forgotten that sex is a sacred energy exchange sex is sacred and divine sex is not dirty sex is not wrong but it's something sex is a byproduct of love right true love and out here people have it mixed up myself included back in the day just feeling like it's something to just toy around with and just have fun with and maybe have casual sex or not see it so serious and no you know sex is extremely powerful it's extremely meaningful it's extremely deep on a spiritual level and it hits you emotionally it can mess with you mentally you want to make sure that you're having sex with the right person someone that you are aligned with somebody who cares about you on an emotional level on a mental level you know and you guys are really like in tune with one another you have a commitment i feel like that's super important because when you don't then you know things can get messy things can get confusing what can happen when you have sex with the wrong people when you have sex with the wrong person and it's not to say that anybody is better than somebody else it's that's not what i mean i just mean that it's the wrong person for you <laughs> okay because everybody is divine everybody is a soul everybody is worthy but when you're having sex with somebody who is not for you then it can leave you broken hearted it can hurt you like it can destroy you emotionally mess with you mentally it can also block your your sacral chakra which is something that i experienced which look into chakras you guys or check out my video i'll link it down below that happened for me because when you are um again sex is powerful so it's nothing to mess with but you just want to be very mindful by me abstaining i've had a chance to see it more in a more serious light you know and pleasure is not wrong sex is beautiful sex is amazing sex is conducive to a healthy lifestyle but sex with the right person well i'm just gonna keep it 100 with you guys especially if you're like a younger woman watching this don't let these guys play you girls okay because we're in a society where men they because sex is plastered all over people are forgetting how divine it is and they're just people don't see it so seriously right so you can easily be pressured and got a guy can make you feel like oh well if you don't give it to me i'll just get it from somebody else okay then let him do that you know what i mean that is not the type of person that you want to allow in your space when you start to understand your worth you realize that casual sex seeing it just so like oh it's whatever like that is a cheap thrill okay that's how i've come to see it like casual sex is a cheap thrill and you are expensive okay this is how you have to view yourself you are worthy you are a goddess you are divine you know you are a piece of god god lives within us it's not about that oh sex is gonna harm you or hurt you when you don't honor sex it's like you don't honor yourself you don't honor your value think about it you guys i've been in the position with like a friends with benefits situation right and we both try to just see it as oh well this is just something we're doing we're friends and we're having fun and that's all it is let's leave it at that let's not put a title let's not make it confusing blah 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 well actually that did the opposite it made it extremely confusing because since sex is so deep <laughs> when you no matter what you try to tell yourself you're releasing endorphins you know you're feeling some type of way it is a spiritual act okay people may not want to face that or realize that but it is very much a spiritual thing your energies are emerging okay this person's traumas this person's everything emotional state energy is now infused with yours so it matters and especially if they're out doing it with other people too it's just can get entangled and messy fast you know so forget this whole friends with benefits things like 
ladies, why should they buy the cow when they're getting the milk for free? You know, it's so true. And um, if he's getting all the benefits of a relationship from you and getting to experience your body and nurturing and love and kisses and tenderness, but he's not actually committing to you in every other aspect, you can't sit there and cry if, oh, he's not treating me right, but you're allowing him to just kind of treat you however experience you without committing to you don't do that to yourself i've been there and i knew better but at the time i i really felt like well if this is the only way i can experience him then i will take that and that is a sign of very low self-worth low self-esteem and i'm opening up about this because i've grown from this i'm not ashamed of it i'm just letting you know that you can get there too, where you realize like, wait a minute, I don't need you. And I don't need this. I don't need this half-assed relationship, this non-commitment. I'm feeling jealous inside. You're taking this girl out, then me, like all of this. It's not to say that you can't just go out there and date and date multiple people. You can do that. You know, that's how you find the right person for you. Um, but once you start crossing the line and you start having sex with somebody or multiple people, like that's just gonna make your life super messy and it can really leave you brokenhearted. And for what, you know, like there's a reason that, you know, religious texts will say like married couples should have sex, you know, wait till you're married. There's a reason why that's there. It's because it's like, it should be t between two people who are committed to one another, in my humble opinion. <laughs> Okay, so now let's dive a little bit deeper, you know, because sure, we can blame the guys all day long, but we as the woman, okay, we as the feminine, we literally have to open our bodies up to receive the guy. So we cannot just blame men, you know, we need to understand our power and how we all have choices out here, you know? So I wanna speak to us about why we would be feeling like we need to have sex with the wrong person or have sex with somebody who's not committed to us and i think that we are seeking love in the wrong places we're searching for love outside of ourselves we're looking for a sense of fulfillment okay but in the wrong way because sex is satisfying you know sex is a byproduct of love so if you just jump straight to sex or you're having sex but let's say there's no commitment the act of sex itself feels good you're gonna feel loved in that moment you're gonna feel cared for in that moment you might be on a little bit of a, a natural high afterwards you know um sex is a beautiful thing but i want you to think about what happens after that you know in the in the hours and the days and the weeks after that act if you are just having so-called casual sex you're going to feel empty afterwards you know you're still going to be searching for that love you're not going to feel fulfilled because you're going about it in the wrong way and it's not about judging you because like i said like i've been there too and that's why i had to take a step back i had to realize like i had to look at my love life and be honest with myself and say wow like i'm not feeling like loved i'm not feeling cared for yes i have this person or that person that i could call up and have fun with but that's it you know and so even if you're in a relationship but deep down you know that maybe this is not going to last or it's not the right person for you and you're having sex that can prolong your situation that sex is so powerful that it can have you thinking making things blurry for you if you're in a relationship and you know deep down like this might not be the one for me but you're having sex it's going to make it harder for you to separate from that person because every time you have sex you create a soul tie 
You know, this is a phrase that I heard Tony Gaskins talk about, and I really think it's true. Like, you create this soul connection, and that's why you can have sex just one time and not be able to get somebody out of your energy because you've merged. Go within yourself, connect with yourself, connect with God, know who you are, know how valu valuable you are, raise your standards for yourself and what you will tolerate in your life. And the people who are not willing to meet that standard, who are not willing to treat you the way that you deserve and respect you, they can exit your life and they will exit your life. It will be very easy to decipher who is meant to be in your life and who is not. What relationships were just based off of sex? What relationships don't have much depth without the sex? Who's right for you, who is not? And you might find that you're all alone, like me for 442 days, but that's okay. Because who have I had myself? Who have I had? God, the universe, miracles start appearing in your life, I'm telling you. When you form a relationship with yourself and with the divine, you will feel, you will get those feelings that you were in search of, which is satisfaction, fulfillment, peace, happiness, love. Okay, I could cry right now because it's so true. It's so deep and I don't care how old you are, man or woman, we don't need sex. Sex is one of those things that I see as like um, icing on a cake you know, the cherry on top. It is a byproduct of love. So again, sex is a beautiful thing. It can be fun and, you know, we feel pleasure in that area for a reason. You know, God has given us the gift of sex and to experience it and enjoy it. But you just want to understand its power, use it wisely, and allow it to be an expression of real, true love. And that's where I'm at in my life. You know, even if I were to get in a relationship, we wouldn't just jump straight into that. No, because a real, real love is not about sex. Real love is about a soul connection. You love this person with your eyes closed. You love this person's soul, not just their face, not just their body, their soul, who they really are. That is real love, you know, so just be mindful of this. A lot of times people and we are working backwards in the society where people have sex and then they decide if they like each other. We're going about it all wrong, guys. So what happens when you end up like not having sex for a super long time? Something I've noticed is that your standards raise. Just inevitably it happens. As you start to build your self-love, build your self-worth, build your self-confidence, know your, your value, recognize that it's not like something that we, when I say build your self-love, you know, what I really mean is you become awake to who you really are, okay? So it's not like before you were just not worth anything and now you are because you're not having sex, no. We are inherently worthy of love and respect. Sometimes we forget this, sometimes our behaviors are self-destructive or we self-sabotage or we become manipulated by someone else or we just make poor decisions. You know, maybe we're just immature, maybe we're influenced by the wrong things, society, TV, whatever the case is. When you take a break from sex and you just start working on, your, on yourself and your relationship with God deepens, you remember and you become awake of who you really are. You know, that has been my experience. And so yes, my standards have raised and it's not about looking down on other people. It's just about by loving myself more, I will only tolerate that same love and respect from a potential partner. It's really cool too, because I recognized during this journey that I've been on that so many of my situations, ex-boyfriends, whatever, they were trauma bonds, subconscious, and we weren't aware of it and trying to resolve each other's, it's just so deep. But basically, research trauma bonds because it's very interesting. And I, I re recognize that, wow, this is, was this even love? This time of being celibate made me aware of these patterns. And I have to be gentle with myself forgive myself for the things that I didn't know. It's really cool because what God has done is he has opened my eyes and he has brought new people into my experience, into my world where I see, wow, 
there are different types of men out there, men who are also spiritual, men who are, you know, leaders and men who treat people with respect, who respect themselves and just a whole different caliber of men that I didn't know existed. <laughs> I've God has shown me like no like when you value yourself when you raise your vibration you are going to now attract or come into contact with other people who are on that same wave who like I said love themselves respect themselves you have a relationship with God and um, yeah it's just a it's a whole different world and those people do exist and you know and it's beautiful to see it gives me hope. And again, it's not about someone being better than someone else. It's just about consciousness and what people are awake to and what they're asleep to. So that has been a beautiful thing. In the future, I'm not going to just be having sex. Like, I'm going to be making love from a conscious place. Spiritual sex. It's on its way to me. I'm manifesting it. Pray for me. So lastly, there are some downsides to this let you know that it has not just been peaches and cream because that would not be true the first downside is loneliness yes it happens it happens and it's it's okay you know um the things that i'm gaining they outweigh that but at times it can be lonely you know and sometimes i find myself comparing my current situation with other you know people a lot of people that are around me or that i see um are in relationships and you know sometimes i can compare myself there is my person and all that stuff and i feel like it's just part of the process it's really about surrendering and letting go the need to control and know everything and that's how you really build and deepen your relationship with god when you just allow yourself to trust him and trust that he loves you so much that he's working things out for you and for your highest good he's not against you <laughs> he doesn't want you to be lonely but that you are single right now or not having sex because this is teaching you stuff which obviously it's taught me a lot of things that i didn't know and would have never known had i not taken a step back now i know that when i do have a relationship it will be true and when I do have a relationship it will be deeper and just more fulfilling more aligned if you want something to last you have to allow God to be at the center of it because that is what's going to be the real foundation not sex you might be surprised at to what unfolds in your life let's glow up together let's learn about just these deeper things that we don't get taught about in school we don't see on the tv you know, it's not in pop culture and none of that, but it's real life. It's real stuff. It's stuff that I've been through and I'm just wanting to spread the love. And yeah, that's it. You guys leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. I'm sending you so much love, power. Remember your worth. Remember you're expensive. Remember you are divine. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.